Hi, I'm Jeannie Summerlin with the Alabama Comprehensive Cancer Control Coalition, and today I'm here with Megan Farmer from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Hi, Megan, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Good. Today we're talking about genetic counseling. So tell us, is cancer always due to a genetic condition? No, actually most cancers are due to factors like aging or environmental factors like smoking or HPV. So only about 5 to 10 percent of cancers are due to an underlying hereditary condition that's being passed from one generation to the next and is predisposing individuals to a pretty significant increased risk of cancers. That's a pretty small piece of the pie. If someone were to already have cancer once, are they at an increased risk for having cancer again? The best people to talk to about that would be physicians. Um, talk to your team about whether or not your cancer is more likely to spread or come back versus whether you might be at increased risk for a second cancer due to factors with your treatment plan like radiation or chemotherapy. But the simple answer is most of the time if someone's had one cancer, they're not necessarily at increased risk to develop a second cancer unless they've been diagnosed with a hereditary condition that we already know predisposes them to multiple types of cancer. Now, we hear a lot in the healthcare arena about know your family history, mm -hmm. know, you know what your parents and your grandparents were dealing with. Mm -hmm. Talk to us a little bit about how this is important for understanding a risk factor mm -hmm. or a cancer diagnosis. Knowing your family history is incredibly important because it really helps put, us, put a patient in context of, of the greater family history, which is important when we want to know whether or not there's a genetic condition that is being passed from one generation to the next. So asking family members not only if they've had cancer, but what kind of cancer they had, how old they were when they were diagnosed, because we're looking for things like cancer diagnosed at early ages, so typically before the age of 50, multiple cases of the same type of cancer on the same side of the family or in multiple generations. Or we do know some cancer types can be related. So if you collect all that information, you can discuss it with your physician and then ultimately decide whether genetic counseling might be a helpful part uh, of somebody's treatment plan. Great. Thank you, Megan. You're welcome. And thank you for watching.